Okay, here we are live. I'm going to go through my tasker setup and see so people can see what I have set up in my let's call it production phone. This is the phone I carry around with me. It's a Pixel 3. And so this is the phone I use every day. Let's see what I have. To start off, we can start with this states pro uh, this states project here which contains all the states that simply set variables. So for example, when I'm at home, I set a home variable. At night, I set the night variable. This is uh, another house I, I sometimes go to. I also set the home variable here because I want the same things to happen when I'm at my real home and when I'm, when I'm at this other house. So I set both, uh, I set the variable to home when I'm on, on the, both of these locations. And then on all these profiles, I'll set a variable to one. And then as an exit task, I'll clear the variable. So I have states for all of these. When I'm at home, at night, when I'm at the other house, when I'm in my car, when I'm working, and when the sun is out. Uh, this one is interesting because it uses this night display activated setting to um, to know if the sun is out is not or not because this setting is is related to um, the the sun here. Let's see if I go here and search for night light. I have it turned on until sunrise. Uh, turn off until until sunset. So. This will turn on from sunset to sunrise, and so I can monitor this setting and know when the sun is out. So I have all these variables here, and then I can I combine them and use them for my real profiles. For example, when I'm home during the day, uh, which means that home variable is set and the night not set, then I set the ringer vault to three. I disable the not disturb. I turn off the always on display because I don't need it during the day. And also I what do I do here? Oh, I turn off the the grayscale on my phone. Then at home at night I let's see just wait a minute. When I'm at home at night, I can, I will turn on do not disturb and then turn on the always on display and then uh, turn on the, the setting to make the, the, the colors go dim. When I'm at home, be it day or night, I always turn off the assistant. And as, as you can see, it's really cool to conjugate all the variables this way. I can ha have multiple profiles all using the same variables. When I'm away from home, which means that the home variable is not set, I turn the volume to max, turn off do not disturb, turn on the always on display, and I turn on the Google Assistant. When I'm working, I set this complication on my watch which I have it set right now. Let's see if it shows up. It's this bottom one here, the play button, which makes the the phone, which makes my computer play or pause music. Let's see if it works. Don't know if you can hear in the, in the background, but it's now playing music. I'll pause it again. Just pause it. Okay, going on. Oops. Why is this out of focus? Come on, man, focus. Focus. Hello. I can't get it to focus now. OK. 
Can you focus on this? Okay. So if I'm at home and not working, I create a, a screen on my watch to that allows me to control the lights in my house. If the sun is down, I will put the the colors here in this background to black just so you can see turn it to black and if the sun is up I'll turn it to white and if the sun is up I'll make the navigation bar uh, the default no nothing is set up there and let's see if the sun is down and I'm home and I'm not working then I'll use this special navigation bar which creates this icon here which allows me to control the lights directly from the navigation bar and also creates a few complications on my watch this one this ones these ones with the top one uh, allows me to to dim the lights and the, the bottom one allows me to turn off one light and uh, uh, turn on the a light for one minute and then turn it off after a minute so I can go to bed then there's a patron giveaway that I'm that it's here but it shouldn't be but let's move it here okay so the states I always went through already went through and here are some uh, uh, here are the states that, that the events that react to auto apps commands so I have this command that will resume playing the song on an app I want so the command filter is resume playing and then it will uh, query query that name for uh, that name that app uh, by its name and then use auto share to to resume playing on that app I have a PC command. What what does it do? Oh, it sends the command to my PC via join. So I can uh, at, at any time do this auto apps command that starts with PC command and task will redirect, redirect that command to my PC. I have the Pi command, which is the same thing just for my Raspberry Pi. I have a test command that simply flashes the command that was sent has this prefix, prefix test and then it does this and then I have a command to launch launch aware app I have a, another one to toggle tethering I have another one to launch a task directly by its name and then this patron giveaway that I'll do later here's the profile for where I'm in my car I set a special navigation bar that has this icon here which allows me to turn on and off tethering on my phone and also have these complications on my watch which allow me to play Pocket Casts or Google Play Music and then uh, when, I, when I go away from my car I put the navigation bar back to normal put the media volume back to max oh I set the media volume to max because I play a sound a special sound when I'm uh, w when I turn off my car so that I don't forget the phone in my car and then turn the media volume back to normal and then I have this a, a join profile which simply responds to a variable so another device sends this command remote var and then this device responds with the value of that variable and then finally I have this uh, keep screen on project that will create this quick tile here which keeps the screen on for 600 seconds and if I click it again it will keep the screen on for 30 seconds this is useful for those apps where you want to read something and the screen keeps turning off and this way you'll keep the screen on for a long time so this is it this is a recent phone I don't have much stuff in it yet but every day I add new stuff to it but this is what I have right now okay see you later